Ah, it's Deprogram. My name is Justin. I am your host. Sure. That'll be the word that we use this week. I mean, dude, I got new glasses a couple weeks ago, and I feel good about it. So there's your uh, nice note this week. They look good. Oh, thank you. But it's better than the old wire frames I had. They were, like, cutting into my skin and leaving gr- green crap all over them. Oh, wow. And they were, like, seven years old. So I think it was time for a new one. The, la- the lady looks at me and goes, uh, yeah, I think it's... Yeah, you should get some new ones. I can't take these out. These are they're attached to my face now. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> D- David Cronenberg designed these. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about in excess, and I'm looking forward to this. But first, Patreon.com slash Oh Hi Justin, and actually both panel members today are both Oh Hi Justin members. Yeah, I am a, at the five dollar level. Not Look to at you. Oh, wow. I brag about it. I haven't sent you to the uh, the uh, Discord. There's nothing happening on the Discord, but there is a Discord. Cool. It's it's something that you can download on your phone and it'll nothing will happen. So it'll be great. <laughs> I love uselessness. <laughs> but you can get this program deprogrammed three days early. Uh, you can get the Oh Hi Justin pod a full week early uh, ahead of the rest of the world. And that's a daily pod where I just kind of empty my brain. Uh, you can get the These Ghouls demos, which I'm going to... I'm, I'm putting this out here. If you're listening to this, let me know. I'm thinking about doing like a cover a week just because uh, until I can get up with David, I'm not going to be able to get the next level of these ghouls demos out. So I might be just, I might be uh, recording a couple uh, acoustic covers just to keep my voice sharp. What do you think? Let me know. Also, maybe a, a comic book all coming down the pike. And you also get hashtag wrestle pals right to your e- uh, email if if you like wrestling. If you don't like wrestling, I'm telling you this. You don't like wrestling, you want to listen to hashtag wrestle pals because we are stupid. I can attest to that because I don't like wrestling and I actually listen to the show. See? I listen to almost every show almost all the way through. See? And I mean, you know, so there's times where we get super nerdy about and get really targeted on yeah. the actual wrestling. And that's when you lose me. Well, you know, but then you come back, and or, or come. you don't come back. Is it maybe you left, and that's when you get me? Maybe we, yeah, mm. maybe we left. The thing is, <laughs> if you're a wrestling fan, you'll like us because we do talk about wrestling. If you're not a wrestling fan, you'll like us because we're stupid and we're all, we 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 don't just fully uh, solely focus on the wrestling stuff. You've met uh, both the panel members. To my immediate left, the lovely and talented Brian Lewis. Hi. And directly across from me, the lovely and talented Jody. Hello. You get no last name. That's okay. It, you can't I, say it anyway. I was going to say, I never asked, is it Delaney or Delaney? It's Delaney. Delaney. Okay. So, okay. All right. Now we got it. See? Yay. Once and done. Now we got it. We're talking in excess today. And um, I, th- I feel like somebody else put in excess out there, but somehow you two became the panel. And I mean, I'm okay with this. It's just weird that... Somebody puts out a band, and then they're not even on the episode. It definitely wasn't me, but I, I, I remember seeing it, and I was like, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I feel like it was a, a couple weeks ago, and actually, may, it may have been around the time you did U2, Jody. You were like, yeah, I'll do an excess. Yeah. Um, so you're the first one to jump on. Tell me uh, about your experience with an excess. Hmm. All right. Well, I would say that an excess is... Specifically, um, kick, I think, largely, kind of was the sound of my mid to late teen years. Gotcha. And not in them and things like that. It's kind of where I lived musically around that time, a uh, blend of uh, synth and uh, rock was kind of where I was. And I never really left it. It was. It was a sound that I keep coming back to. I keep reliving, keep sliding back into because, well, you know, apparently from what I've read, somewhere between, you know, 14 and 19 of the years where the, your, the type of music, the style of music that you appreciate gets formed. And I, at least anecdotally, I can say that's true. 94 to 99 for me. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely yeah. stuck between 94 and 99. <laughs> and every time that that style of music starts to make a resurgence. I, those are the bands I end up gravitating to. And then I had the unfortunate, I'll say slightly unfortunate, because I didn't get to see them until after Hutchins oh. passed. But I got to see them at the National when with JD fronting. 
Oh. And closing my eyes and listening to him, it was hard to remember that it wasn't Hutchins on stage. Well, I mean, that's a ringing endorsement, though. I mean, if, if nothing else, that means he sounds enough like him that you can kind of take yourself there. Yeah. And it wasn't just the sound of his voice. It was the way he presented the songs. Of, he was, Which is important. And now I don't know if that was just because he was a fan of the music himself or if he was just putting in the effort to be that front. But take either way... Yeah, well, taking taking on a character like Hutchins, which you know, in all actuality, is what they're doing. If if they're performing the old NXS stuff, you'd kind of have to be, wouldn't you? I would think so. A, a, a guy like that, you kind of have to be right there. You have to be a fan. You have to understand what what you're dealing with. I guess mm-hmm. so. Uh, now, this may have been the greatest and best thing that. I've ever seen when trying to formulate a uh, a master list for a band. Uh, Jody had said something along the lines of, if we stopped it here, it's this many albums. And your response was, to be a dick about it, <laughs> I want nothing after Hutchins. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not sorry, actually. Uh, it's. I was like, but you're right. I mean, I, I, I didn't follow them after Hutchins, mm-hmm. so... I haven't heard anything other than I remember there was like a reality TV show to find the new guy. Right. Right. Which is where JD came from. Okay. So, I mean, so they stuck with him. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh no, they didn't. (laughs) It was a on again, off again, on again. I didn't know I was off again relationship. Oh, (laughs) I think they did one record together and that was it. Yeah. They did one together. They 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 toured with him for a while. Cause we, we stopped at X. Yes. Right. So there was two Hutchins albums after that, but, Nothing really of note. Well, you know, in you know, in putting this together, we had to make sure we got enough of the early stuff. In there really is no point going past Hutchins, and we had to make it a manageable amount of songs because this we turned this around in like two weeks, I think. Yeah. You know, right. So tell me about In Excess. Why? Why it was that you, you jumped on? Um. Oh, I'm a child of the '80s, so okay. <laughs> they were certainly the the one of the soundtracks of that. Mm-hmm. Uh. I remember watching the, uh, oh my gosh, one of their videos, I, that, a lot of their videos came on. Uh, I just thought that like Michael Hutchins was like the eighties Jim Morrison. Okay. Like he was that cool dude. Like he was sexy and I liked his voice, mm-hmm. you know? And, uh, and then I got into their earlier catalog, uh, and I really liked a lot of the stuff they did before Kick. And then I I, I kind of slept on their really early, like their first two records, mm-hmm. until honestly this list. Oh, okay. Putting the list together. And I really like a lot of that, or like, or like the first two records. Like, uh, what's the second record? Is uh, um, uh, Underneath the Colors? Yeah, Underneath the Colors. Yep. I, I think it's a great record. I don't think it's a great in excess record. Okay. And that's a weird thing to say, but no, like, I get it. It doesn't sound like what mm-hmm. that band became. Yeah. It sounds more like an erasure record. Okay. Like but it's it's got everything I love. It's a, like it's got dance hall, it's got the Aboriginal Australian influence in mm-hmm. it. It's got like funk. It's it's a great record. I just like they they hadn't come into their own yet, but that's I, I found myself having to force like to cut most of that. Record. Oh yeah, I was so. I was you know we'll we'll get into the list here, but right. I had to get super aggressive with my cuts. I feel like to your point, like uh, somewhere around maybe the swing was where like it was like okay, this is the NXS. I don't know because my mom was a huge NXS fan. Yeah, but I don't recall her listening to anything before Kick. Yeah, I'm sure she did, but I don't recall it. Like none of it came. Listening to Kick, listening to X, and the one after is uh, "Welcome to Wherever You Are." I think yeah. I remember those three specifically. That that was my in excess. Yeah, and um, so like just immediately, like five six songs came to mind that I'm like, yeah, these are in no matter what, unless I listen to them and nah. <laughs> if for some reason like they they didn't hit me the same way, but this this band. <sighs> Okay, so like I want to talk about this for a second because uh, mm-hmm. this is the first time we've done a uh, crowdsourced, just in case list, just in case we get to you know, we get to a point where it's there's a stalemate and we need. You know, I had a feeling that this might be the show that that actually happens on. It might. I mean, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, we may be on different spectrums. 
it's possible. I just feel like I've done the show so many times. It's, I'm just like past due to have a show where we just don't <laughs> hit at all. Well, when we did Depeche Mode, this would have come in handy because like the three of us just miss, 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 yeah. miss, miss. Yeah. Like we were crying. At, <laughs> we were crying after like the 13th round when we hadn't made a single hit. Yeah, I was crying after the first rejection. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm still crying about this. But uh, mode. so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do this with with every band every week. Next week I've got both Nickelback and Silver Sun pickups so I'm going to ask twice don't look at me that way Nickelback is a please explain I, some, I'm, I've got people that are going to explain it to me I'm with Jody on this I don't hate Nickelback but I also have never I'm not making the deep dive somebody else is going to do that and tell me why I'm wrong I can think of worse bands quite honestly and like I don't I don't like their music, but I don't hate them. I like they're right. not the worst yeah. band I've ever heard in my life. I mean, that's the Red Hot Chili Peppers. But <laughs> <laughs> like I was telling Justin before you got here and we started recording, they're acceptable. They don't have great music, but some of the melodies are good. They don't have great lyrics, but some yeah. of the phrasing is catchy. The production is decent. Yeah. I mean, it's what you expect out of mass-produced audio. It sounds it sounds good in the this was tuned well for yeah. your ears. Yeah. They're just, they're not remarkable. No, it, it, yeah, they're they're completely inoffensive. They're like Jimmy Fallon on, on The Tonight Show. <laughs> you know, like, a lot of people like it, but it's not my thing. Cause not my thing, you'll, you'll, you'll never offend anybody, and what's the point then? Yep, for you'll, me? you'll never be Conan. Yeah, exactly. You'll never no one will Conan. ever be Conan. Yeah. Even Conan's not Conan anymore. No, <laughs> unfortunately. Well, and he's making, well, that's a whole different yeah. conversation. Yeah. We're, 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 we're getting a little bit off track here. But okay. So I, I put out the question just to see, you know, again, to crowdsource just in case we need it. Yeah. And I'm not, I didn't realize that there was this with NXS. I got two responses of not in excess. One person trying to be funny. The one where I put the NXS CD in the trash okay great and then later on the one where i'm not listening to in excess I'm like first off why are you such a dick i i didn't why do you hate life that you hate in excess like seriously like what is no one hates that band like how like i don't understand yeah. like listening to it, it i mean uh, clearly I, I hate to use the word you just used for for nickelback but they're inoffensive like as far uh. as like as far as sound wise like I, it could just not be your thing but it's like to have that kind of response to it, like, I'm going to throw it in the trash, like, but why? But, yeah, Explain. but why? Like, the interesting part to me of people's responses is that the two albums I can think of that someone would most likely have that feeling about are In Excess and Underneath the Colors. Which nobody heard. Yeah, almost nobody heard them yeah, unless you were a fan. fan. Yeah. Because right. those, are the sound, those are the albums where they were very heavy, new wave, punk, ska. And there, I know people that just can't stand the, that the whole branch of music. Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't have heard them if you didn't like an excess to start with. Right. So where is this coming from? Yeah. I mean, it, I don't know. Like, I guess I should expect that kind of response for pretty much any band I put up there. Like there's, it's not, I mean, cup I, of tea. I, I, I get that with any, like a, a dozen bands. I get it with Nickelback when you mm -hmm. would say in the trash, like I get it. They're like notoriously the band that everybody's supposed to hate and whatnot. But like in excess is the, like they're in the middle. Like, yeah, they're, they're not the greatest band in the world. And they're certainly nowhere near the worst band in the world. I, I just, I, I, I don't know, man. And I, I think the thing that offends me most about that response is it doesn't, it helps me zero. Like I'm clearly trying to pull yeah. together answers you're that, that's just the problem with the internet in general. It's that's like, true. Like you don't have to comment on everything you don't like. No. You can just keep scrolling. I mm -hmm. mean, your life's still going to go on. I think Jody put it best. Put an angry face. Reply with an angry face. If you feel like you have to say anything, yeah. just that's, reply that's with an angry face. That's the reason why it face. exists. <laughs> we, we rallied on Facebook for over a decade to get something other than a thumbs up. Yeah. And, and we got it. Use it. Use it. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I say things that are controversial, so... I've like, heard them. You really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paid the fucking price for that. Uh, but I, I never understood, like, why would you take time out of your day to talk about something you clearly don't like? Yeah. Like, just keep going. Just keep just, going. Just keep just keep scrolling. Like, oh, I don't like an excess scroll. Yeah. Simple. Oh, uh, I don't like I don't like what you just said. Cool. Just keep keep moving on. You don't have, you, just because it appeared in your timeline does not mean you have to respond. Yeah. And I mean, that's a deep, that's deeper than an excess. But, uh, it just it was something that was on my mind because I put it out there. If you're listening to this and you don't like the man that I'm asking about, you don't have to say anything. It's 
I, I'm trying to pull some some answers together just in case we need the answers. So, what that, a concept, right? <laughs> just not just keep your mouth shut about stuff. Oh, weird. Ah. That being said, again, the the band of the week is in excess. The name of the game is deprogrammed. The three of us have gone through. I think what was it? Seven albums. We decided. I think it was seven. Yeah, I yeah, believe it seven so. Or was it eight? Might have been eight. Uh, self-titled. No, seven. The colors. seven. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we've each pulled out 20 tunes. Some of us, it may have been a little harder for others. I, I had to be aggressive this I time. I caught one in your parking lot. <laughs> like, I had to cut five before I left the house. What, so. what did I say it was? Like 40-something I had a week ago? I, my solid list was 33. Right. I had, I want to say it was 42. And so since I had so many, I was like, okay, well, look. I'm not going to rack my brain on this. I'm going to, if it doesn't hit immediately, or if I have the song that sound represented elsewhere, it's gone. I I need I want to hone in on the twenty so I can listen to to them yeah. uh, at least once or twice before we record. But uh, we've each pulled out twenty songs, and we're going to bounce them off of each other in an attempt to create a top ten list of that we uh, a starter kit that we can present to you as somebody who has never given in excess the time of day. Um, just a few notes. Like I said, we took the um, the listener poll, and there's one, two, three. I think there's eleven songs in total, but one, two, three, six that had more than one vote that we may use in case we need them for the uh, number one with a bullet or to to break a tie I missed or something. This whole, this whole thread, actually. Oh well, I mean, I was yeah. too busy living my life. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> you like the band, and you didn't <laughs> feel do. the need to stop and say something. See, exactly. uh, but <laughs> I I also do think that you know. For, for that panel members need not apply we're all going to get our opinions out here yeah. on the show so but uh we're also going to i think we added the new wrinkle um i mean that's essentially say, oh the trash new trash protocol this will be the one and only time i say it uh if for some reason we all empty out our uh our lists and we still don't have enough to complete our 10 each of us will be able to pick two more songs out of the trash. One of our own that we really feel like needs to be brought back up to discuss and one of the other panel members. Okay. That you were probably something that you were close. Like, oh man, that was song 21 or, or whatever. Yeah. So we have an additional six, in our case, six songs that we'll be able to uh, mold down to whatever, whatever we need. Probably not going to happen. It's happened once maybe twice in the two and a half years of the show but i feel like there should be something in place just in case right so i'm gonna start it off here this is my number my number one because when in excess became a band that we were thinking about doing again there's like five songs that came right right to my head yeah and this one is always one and then my next one will be one a devil inside that's on my list for sure that is the second one on my list Look yeah, at that. It's one of the sexiest songs I've ever heard. Oh, my God. That riff. Damn. See, and again, like, once you get to that point of In Excess's career, it's, I don't want to say it's more about Hutchins. But it, it's completely about, I mean, but the, it's, the Ferris Brothers wrote the music, but, I mean, no one cares. No one gives no, a shit. It's, like, he is the embodiment of what they're doing. Like, it's, it's insane because, I mean, it started with the swing, in my opinion. Yeah. Um. But come kick and, and X, it's like, who is this dude? Like, it's completely different than what he was doing before. He really comes into his own. Yeah. And this is the embodiment of it. Like you said, it's super sexy. Like that, even that riff, that... Dun, 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 dun. It, it's certainly one, like, you know how I feel about hit songs mm-hmm. and singles, but... Uh, it's impossible to it, ignore. It, yeah. It's impossible to ignore. I wanted to ignore it, again, for the same reason. Even though, like, it was one of the first songs I thought of. I can't. You listen yeah. to it, and it's like, nah, man, that's in. That- I, I, it, it's not an insult coming from me when I say this, but it, it is a quintessential '80s sounding song. Mm-hmm. Like it, that is what the music of the '80s was for most of my life, anyway. Mm-hmm. Anything to add, Jody? Um, you don't have to. It's all right. <laughs> not really. I mean, I would have more or less kind of echoed. Okay, so, so yeah, we're all in the same place. Devil Inside is in, and we'll go straight across the table, and Jody, you are up. All right, well then, I guess I'll go ahead and play what is my number one. Don't change. That yep. is I my number one, actually, too. I with, got it. With a bullet. Let's slide that over. 
and for the record, Don't Change is one of the six that the listeners put out there. Cool. It had two votes, so it's in. That it song is. has like saved my life several times. It, it's one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. What's funny is uh, Alfredo is the one who put Don't Change out initially. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Oh, Fredo <laughs> does have a soft side. He does. He well, does. he also doesn't change either. So this is very <laughs> true. <laughs> All of that is so true. <laughs> All right, Brian. All right. Well, I was going to come out the gate with "Don't Change," but now I'm going to change it up. Uh, <laughs> oh, also, "Devil Inside" uh, was one of the listeners' choices too. With uh, it's three. a fucking fantastic song. All right, I'll just go with. Um, it, it's a it's a bigger song. I. I I think it's a really romantic song. I've heard it a ton. I'll, I'll never get tired of it. Never tear us apart. Yep. I got it. Yep. <laughs> that is the number one with a bullet from the listeners. Really? It was got put out there and backed by five people. Cool. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm into it. Yeah. Obviously, I would prefer Don't Change. but I had forgotten about that song, and it was not one of the five. And then, like, as I'm listening to the album, it that song starts playing, I'm like, Oh yeah. yeah. I forgot how much I love this song. So yeah. Look at that. Three out, three in. And and here I was worried that we were gonna <laughs> just keep missing. No. I mean we've got so much wiggle room already. Three uh three out, three in. I'm gonna put this is my one A. This is the other song that I th- I think about most when I think about in excess. Suicide Blonde. Yep. That's on my list. Look at that. It's because again, it's it's very uniquely in excess, and like that, the harmonica, mm-hmm. and it's it's bluesy without being bluesy. Yeah, it's one of those songs that within the first second you know what you're listening uh-huh. to, yep. and with this one, not only do you know what you're listening to, that harmonica tells you what you're gonna hear. Yep, yep, and again, like I just I think about because. X would have been what ninety one, ninety two, maybe. I think it was. My years are off. One. Actually, X was ninety. Ninety. 90 okay. okay. Um, yeah, like I'm, I'm ten and just kind of really starting to figure out music on my own. Um, and I mean, again, these this was definitely my mom's band, uh, but this is where I started taking ownership of of In Excess. Is right. I hear that song and I'm like, this is this is mine too. So, all right, Jody. Wow. All right. I think just to kind of change the sound of where we are a little bit, gotcha. I'm going to switch over to the second half of my list. And I'm going to go with Just Keep Walking. Oh, I mm. love that tune. I don't have it, but I love that tune. And even though it was on the first album, it was on In Excess, the sound of that song was kind of a hint of where they were going to end up. Mm-hmm. It had the guitar and it had the synth sound that they landed on. Mm-hmm. But they, that's, it was just that hint right at the beginning going, this is what we're going to do, whether we know it or not. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. Yep. That was on my list, by the way. It was? Yeah, I, I closed it for a second and I had to read it. Like a combo. Yeah, that's on mine. All right, so it's in the combo. It, it missed mine. It was in my first cut, though. All right. Brian? Um, hmm. Let me do... Uh, original sin. Uh, again, that m- definitely made my first cut, but I it's a message song, you mm-hmm. know. No, yeah. you're right, and I Racial have it quality as well. Okay, uh, and that one, uh, it's it's interesting. I didn't know it when the song came out, but when I found out l- listening to it again, it's like okay, I can hear that. Daryl Hall did backup vocals on that song. Oh. Yeah, that w- the whole album was produced by uh, Niall Rogers too. So, yeah. wow. all right, so we've got four all the way through and two in the convo. And where do I want to go? You know what? I'll go. I'll go a little older too. Actually, I'll go first record. Um, there's no ignoring this horn line. <laughs> um, I don't know like where the song ranks as far as like uh, an inexcess song, but that horn line is unignorable. Body language. Yeah. No, <laughs> it didn't make it. Bump, 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 bump. It actually didn't even bump, make bump, my first bump, pass. Bump, bump. It was on my first pass, I believe. 
I just love that. It, like I said, there, for me, there was no ignoring that. And, and, and I think probably where that, that one of the reasons that one fell through is that sands the horn line. It probably there falls just flat. wasn't anything in there to really grab me. Fair enough. It's like, yeah, the horn was great. But if you don't have it, you'll, where's, yeah. it where, where's that in the rest of the song? Fair enough. I All just right. I, I I love listening to the evolution of, of Hutchins' voice though. Like he yeah. does, he doesn't sound anything like he does mm-hmm. on that first record. I mean, you can tell it's him, but yeah. like he's not him. No, <laughs> like it's like he was he's com- he, he sounds completely green on on the first couple records. Yep, until and, uh, Shabu Shuba. And actually, that problem is the same reason that I ended up cutting Kick. Kick most of the song is great, mm-hmm. and there's a few spots where it's just like. Oh, we're just not going to do this. Yeah, we're we're oh we're we're phoning in a few bars here. We're phoning in a few bars there, and then they come right back. It's like the song kick was good. It needs to be remixed. I get you. There's a couple places where they just kind of drop it. All right, Jody, it is your play. Is it now? Mm -hmm. We've had our first whiff. My body language was a whiff. Uh, That's (laughs) all right. You can learn that, Justin. You can learn that (laughs) eventually. All right, I'm going to go with the stairs. Oh, that was I didn't a, play the game enough. That was on my Actually no, it's, I it made it. I thought I I thought I might have cut it. It is on there. All right. Uh, uh, I don't but you guys are in lockstep here. Justin is the one. Are you saying you are the odd man? <laughs> I sh- certainly am odd. Man might be an overstatement. <laughs> Brian? Uh, I'll close my uh, self-titled record out. Uh, Learn to Smile. Oh, nope. No, like no that, that yeah. didn't make it through. Let me go ahead and throw that in the trash. <laughs> Get my bags. Get my bags. All right. Um. Well, we talked about this album a little bit up front. Uh, this song definitely stuck out for me. Underneath the colors, uh, it was an extremely hard cut. Like I, I really had most of that record on this first <laughs> yeah. pass. I have it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Saved me. You saved me, Jody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, just for record sake, there are four in still and four in the conversation. All right, Jody. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Okay, I'll go ahead and use what I've got left from uh, underneath the colors. Horizons. That is on mine. It is not on mine. Lockstep, you two. Lockstep. All right, I'm going to stay on underneath the colors uh, as well. Uh, Stay young. Nope. No, it was one of the five I had to cut before I left. (laughs) Isn't it nice when you're that close? It is that freaking close. I really had to take a hatchet to that record. Like th- when I had to cut down from thirty-three, I cut just like most of the tracks from that record. So I mean, cut, cut I'm, down to three. I'm gonna stay there then, just to see if I can find you. Uh, all those years of learning. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I said, I already blew that out, so I don't have it. All right, so I might as well move that one to the bottom just in case. All right, Jody. All right, let's move on. To back towards the end of our list here and uh, go with Mystify. Nope. Nope. It was one of the ones that uh, I don't know. I, I, I cut a lot of the big hits from Kick. Mm-hmm. That's fair. All right. Bar- Great song, though. I it mean. is. I mean, again, like I could have made a case for uh, Kick, all of Kick and X at one point when I'm listening to it. Yeah. I could have mm-hmm. I just had to be more selective. All right, Brian? All right. I will do my last one from Kick, since we just brought it up. Uh, Guns in the Sky. I don't know why I love that song so much. I just, I really do. I don't have it. It was on my first cut, though. I don't have it either. (laughs) Well, Guns in the Trash. Guns in the Trash. In the Trash. Uh, All right, let's uh, go in the middle of the road here. Uh, Some Shabu Shaba. The one thing. Yep. I know you like your opening tracks. <laughs> I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. No. No, I don't have that. All right. 
at this point, we no longer need the new trash protocol. Oh, wait a minute. Cool. Wait a minute. Yes, I do. I was yes. looking at the wrong part of my list. I have too many cards in Trello. There we go. Yes. There we go. In. But again, we no longer need new trash protocol. All right. We can put the trash in the trash. The trash is in the trash. If you miss, it's gone. All right, Jody. <laughs> All righty. We are cruising. I think I will go ahead and run this one here. Uh, listen like thieves. Yep. I was about to bring that record up too because I'm never yep, yep. But I have that song, dude. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. Six. We are doing really, really well. We are doing spectacular. All right, Brian. All right. I will take my last song from underneath the colors, Barbarian. Um. Nope. And I finished the I finished that album off already. So. Mm -mm -mm. Into the trash it goes. All right. Um. Trying to see. All right. I'll I'll trot one out from uh, self-titled Doctor. Yeah, I've got that. Nope. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to see a doctor. Dun, dun, dun. All right, Jody. Um, I think that I will go ahead and run the other song I have from Listen Like Thieves, What You Need, which yep. was the first song that hit the top five in the U.S. Yep. I got it. And This is one of those ones like I had to put it in. I guess I cut Need, need You Tonight, spoiler mm -hmm. alert. <laughs> but uh, I, that song is just undeniably in excess. So uh, just, f again, for record-keeping sake, that one was one of the ones that the listeners put out, backed by uh, two people. All right. So let me run this down before Brian's turn. Devil Inside, Never Tear Us Apart, Don't Change the One Thing, Suicide Blonde, What You Need, Listen Like, listen like Thieves are in. And Just Keep On Walking, Dr. Original Sin, The Stairs, Underneath the Colors, and Horizons are already in the combo. All right, Brian. All right. Um, golden Playpen. Doesn't seem shabby shuba. Mm, nope. No, it made it through on the first pass, but it didn't make it past that. All right. Mm, all right, I'm going to trot this one out. I don't feel good about it, but again, this is where I feel like they started taking shape as the band that they became. Dancing on the Jetty. No. Nope. Yeah. All right. Jody. Hmm. Oh, apparently I had one more from Listen Like Thieves. So I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, shine Like It Does. Yep. Nope. All right. All right. Brian. All right. I'll stay on that same record. Um, Red Red Sun. Oh. I want to say that was song 21. At max, it was tw song 25. I have more. Uh, that That's the album I have the most songs from. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I f you know what? I, I feel like um, my first cut was the same. Yeah. I, I just ended up not keeping a lot of it, which I don't know what that says. But <laughs> um, uh, okay. I don't know where to go. I feel like, um, all right, I'll trot this one out from the swing as well. All the voices. Yep. Hey. No. If I'm not, if I'm correct, I believe that's like the last track. It is. They have, yeah. they have really great l closing yeah. tracks. They do. And uh, I had to cut a lot, like a, a lot of them because they, they get a little redundant, mm -hmm. but they have really good closing tracks yeah. on most of their records. I think that's ultimately what I was looking at. And so I was trying to find the closing track that represents this is a really good closing yeah. track. All right, Jody. Okay, I'll roll back to the beginning, clear this out. Um, on a bus. Uh, nope. No. No. Move back to the beginning and move that one to the trash. <laughs> All right, Brian. Let me close out. Listen like thieves. Uh, same direction. Nope. All right. Hmm. 
I expect to just miss on the rest of these. Honestly. I mean, even if, even if you do, we're like, we're crushing it. <laughs> Maybe we it's are. better if we do miss at this point. Yeah. yeah. I think I only have one song left. Really? One, yeah. two, three. I've yeah. got six. We've hit uh, on I've like four. Yeah. so many of them. All right. Um, all right. I'm going to tr- intentionally try to miss. This is one I solely put in because it reminds me of childhood. Not because I think it's a great and excess song. It's a good one. Mediate. That was one of the other five I had to cut before really? I left. Wow. Okay. I, I, I really didn't want to. I really didn't want to. I love to. that tune. I almost, honestly, I kind of wanted to go ahead and try to claim that it was part of Need You Tonight. Yes, because totally. Because the music video, those are played together back to back as one song. Yeah. So it's like, maybe I can make the justification and call it one song. I, th- that's the reason why it's not on my list, because it, to me, they, they're they they're both the same song. I mean, they, they even bleed together on the on the, mm-hmm. on the album. Yeah, so. they, there's no break. They yeah. the, the way it's mixed in, it just becomes the other song. All right. I think that's the more interesting half of that song not agreed need you is a great song but Absolutely. i think that that's a, that's a song where it's like it's not standard it's not standard in excess yeah and like i said it it makes me think of my childhood so where you know and it has he does the whole bob dylan yeah card including yeah. In, including intentionally misspelling a word yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right well that was closer than i thought it was going to be i thought that was going to be a whiff uh all right jody all right Go with disappear. Yep. Nope. That's one of the five that I, I thought of like initially. All right, Brian. This is my last song. That's insane. Yeah, I know. Bitter tears. Nope. Mm. I know, right? <laughs> There's a lot of them. Yeah, that there. it made my first cut, and I didn't actually. I deliberately didn't let it go through the f- uh, after the first mm-hmm. because I knew I'd end up cutting it. Because it wasn't strong enough. I knew it wasn't going to make it, but it was definitely good enough the first time through for me to hold it. It's first enough, to, good enough to grab your ear, not mm-hmm. good enough to make. I make just knew. I knew I'd end up cutting it, so I was like, I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to save myself that pain. Save the pain. All right, so we're running each other down. We're trying to bounce off each other here because Brian is out. Um, I'll, well, I'll trot it out there. We'll need you tonight. Yep. It's the only one I had left on my. Uh, first 10 all right jody new sensation i skipped that one because (laughs) i got a lot of i got a lot of hits right right and i actually got a lot of kick as well so i had to skip that one Mm -hmm. i actually went the opposite direction like i I knew i I knew kick was so hit filled Mm -hmm. that that was gonna be the song the album i had the least amount of songs from one of the one least because yeah really i only have two from the swing. I, I wish like that record very much. I wish I could have ignored it, but th- 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 there is a part of ten year old me there that I can't ignore. Right. Um. So I put out "Need You Tonight." Right. Mm-hmm. And then did you put one out? Yeah, nuisance. That's, that's right. Yeah, duh. Was mine. All right. So, all right. I'll trot this one out there by my side. It's the last song I've got left. Wow. Did not expect that one to hit. All right. So. Just to clear mine out, my last two were to look at you, which I intentionally didn't play because I feel, felt like I wasn't going to hit. I was right. And Fairweather Ahead were, was the other one. Neither of those made it through my first pass. Fairweather Ahead was on my first cut. So I'm glad I moved that down down to the bottom and did not play, did not embarrass myself. <laughs> Until now. Until now. <laughs> I'm the one who's sitting here in timeout. So, I mean. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What do we got here? Because you were too agreeable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, usually I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is great though. I love I love when it's, I mean it's pretty simple here. Devil inside, never tear us apart. Don't change the one thing. Suicide blonde, what you need and listen like thieves, are in. That's seven. So we need to narrow these down to three. I want to try to make sure everything is in album. I okay. kind of only want to get the early stuff now because the, they're completely off this list. Yeah, I feel like I feel like unless unless you completely disagree, Jody, we can probably lose Need You Tonight here because we've already got Devil Inside and Never Never Tear Us Apart from Kick, and and everyone's heard that song, probably. Yeah, um, I, I I will say I'll take exception to that statement, but I agree with the sentiment. 
yeah. uh, just because I know so many people that like bands that I grew up with, they're like, I don't even know what are you, what are you talking about? I've never heard these people at all. So clearly, right. But uh, the sentiment I, I can agree with. So yeah, I can say that, uh, it can, it can go. All right. So, uh, let's see what else we got that may, hmm. see, I don't feel good about saying it about, uh, I would like know. to nominate, uh, just keep on walking. Okay. Cause we, I think Jerry yeah. and I hit on it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, again, that was one of those ones that I initially, and I don't think we have anything from that record. So, yeah. yep. Let's go ahead and put that one through. That gives us three more. Um, we've got nothing from underneath the colors. It's the only two that horizons, I think we hit, right? You two hit horizons and, and, and underneath the colors, and underneath the colors. They, was, they weren't unanimous. Right. Right. So, um, this sounds to me like we might want to. Well, no, because I don't think that's that's a home run. Um, you obviously Horizons made y'all's list, so I mean I'm not against it. So if I'd go with the, I don't need the colors actually. Yeah, if I was gonna, if I was having to pick the between the two. <sighs> There's a sound in Horizons I, that I like, that I'd like to see represented, that doesn't get much representation outside of it, but between the two songs, Underneath the Colors, I think, is the better song. Okay, so we'll slide Underneath the Colors in, and that gives us nine. So instead of losing Horizons, we'll let it it's still in play for the, for the last one. So let's run through this and see uh, what we want to lose. We have every album represented now, the other ones we did, correct? believe so yes 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 one two three four five there's six Shabushaba. kick there's x and we have original sound oh. from the swing wait one two oh original sin didn't get through it didn't no you two had it i didn't oh so and then the two from the swing are original sin and all the voices original sin i wouldn't have to go with that i'm not against it i mean it it definitely made my first cut i just i i think i cut it because of its original sin yeah. which i mean is never a good play but you know <laughs> sometimes you have to make the aggressive cuts right so i mean if everybody's agreeable there unless you want to hear what else is left i mean i'm for it just because it it gives us equal represent yeah I was, i'd like yeah. every album to be represented okay so let's go with original sin then all right, so hitting the floor now, Doctor, which, yeah. I mean, I love Doctor, but nah. All the voices shine like it does. I'm so happy that made it this far, though. Disappear, the stairs by my side. As much as I loved X, I think we nailed it with uh, Suicide Blonde. I, yeah. don't, I don't think we needed anything else from there. So, And then Horizons. All right. And... You can almost hear the... The, their creative peak ending at the end of X. Yeah. Like it's just exhausted at that point. Yeah. Because they basically just re tried to remake Kick. I Yeah, they did. And I barely, I, like I said, I remember uh, Welcome to Wherever You Are. I see the album cover. I, I really hate it. that Beautiful Girl song. A lot. Beautiful Girl. I fucking hate <laughs> it so much. Somebody actually put that one out as a favorite. Thankfully, it wasn't included because of, it wasn't in our... Uh, yeah parameters all right so just to run it down devil inside never tear us apart don't change the one thing suicide blonde what you need listen like thieves original sin just keep on walking in underneath the colors it's a solid, a solid list dude and plus it's got a little of everything they do so i mean i feel good about that um now the next part of the conversation what's our number one with a bullet and <laughs> Jody may not be uh, privy to this. I don't know if you've heard the explanation of why we do this. Well, give it to me anyway. Our good friend Fredo, uh, he and I do the best of lists right. every year. And this last year, he complained and bitched and moaned at the that songs. That was painful. <laughs> that was painful. At the songs that I selected 
to represent each band from 2017. Yeah. So this year, I'm putting it on the panel. The panel is going to select the song that goes. Yeah, we all get to share in the responsibility <laughs> that Fredo will bitch about. And he, if he wants to bitch at me, I'll be like, yeah, well, it was a panel. What do you want me to do about it? There's nothing I can do. It was a panel of people. We all selected it. So good for you. I got to be on every panel, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> so does anybody have an inkling? I like to I like to go from like I've, I've already told you mine. I yeah, think it's it was true. the same. Yeah. We, we both of ours number one on our list was don't change. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. Don't change. I, it's a it's a a great starting off point if you've never heard an excess. Uh, that just seems odd to me, but mm-hmm. but and then it represents that sound of the band because that's when they really came into their started to come into their own at least. Anyway. Uh, yeah, Shabu Shaba is Hudson when it fa- starts. Found his voice quite literally. Um, <gasps> oh my god oh my god uh, <laughs> yeah you're right yeah I, it, it's it's a beautiful song it's, it's it really the beginning is. of what i call my in excess uh even though even though for me it was kicking x yeah when you listen to it that's where they start becoming what kick and x are so mm-hmm. all right i feel good about it i feel really good about it um i guess wow so agreeable we're already done. I can't believe it. Um, I guess we're going to get on out of here. Uh, if you liked this show, you like uh, you like me, maybe personally, maybe 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 you like both. Uh, you can get it three days early. You can get uh, hashtag WrestlePals. You can get oh hi Justin. There's much more coming. I I'm, I'm I just have to get out of my head and start doing again. But one dollar a month gets you in the club so to speak and then five dollars a month gets you uh in the club as well <laughs> doesn't really get you much extra i'm sorry bragging rights I'm, I'm, yeah yeah bragging rights i'm a, I'm a platinum member here it's fine <laughs> <laughs> but there's going to be more stuff coming and you're going to be in uh, on the ground floor and i appreciate it more than i could ever put into words for anybody who decides that you know i'm worth a dollar a month thank you for that i appreciate it that being said, in excess, learn them and love them, people. We'll talk to you next week for Nickelback or maybe Silver Sun Pickups. They're both getting recorded next week. It'll be one or the other. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>